Hello folks, my name is uh, Rishi and I'm in Demisto. I wanted to show you some really powerful features in the Demisto playbook editor. So today we're going to actually go through and build a playbook in a very timed manner for a very, very simple task, which is extract all the URLs that come in into an incident, whether it is coming in from an email or whether it's coming from a Splunk alert or any other SIM alert. Uh, the key part of this playbook that we'll keep in mind is the fact that the alerts can contain multiple URLs and we needed to look at the reputation of all the URLs. So let's get started and uh, we'll go uh, uh, look at that. But before we jump into building a playbook, here is a quick view of uh, the playbook editor. The playbook editor has this nice navigator. You can actually look at the entire playbook. This is a playbook that uh, we built yesterday. Pretty quick and simple. And we are able to go through and review each of these set of tasks. What kind of actions do they do? And uh, what kind of data do they pull in? So for our case, we're gonna build a new playbook, as we said. We're gonna time it today. So let's get started. The stopwatch starts. Uh, we're going to put in a playbook name, says enrich URL. We get started. The first task is to be able to extract URL. So there are utilities that are built in to the Demisto system, extract MB5, extract hash, and other utilities. So we're going to extract URL from the incident. And uh, we need to get uh, the source where you want to extract the URL from. So Incident fields are all available here. We take the incident details field and we say extract URL. As simple as that, as you can see here, we connect it to the trigger. The next step which you would want to see is from all of these extracted URLs, you want to fetch the virus total reputation. That's the use case that we're gonna go. So we will look at virus total. We'll look at virus total right here. And here is a script to check the URL reputation. So this script actually checks the URL reputation and uh, puts all the malicious URLs. So there's multiple fields, sample size, and other threshold and other pieces, but we need to just get the URL. So we go and pick up the variable uh, URL, which is the output of the extract URL task, and put it in here. Now remember, the extract URL, as uh, you can imagine, extract multiple URLs. So this variable will be an array. Uh, the big question that a lot of customers ask is, how do you loop through arrays? It's actually a question for most of the automation and orchestration products. How do you loop through arrays do you have? And some products you have to go write code, some products you have to uh, go do other things uh, like create a for loop, create a while loop, and that can get clunky and messy. We actually solved it differently. We actually built in support for for loop right into the infrastructure. So anything that passes uh, the task and array, the infrastructure runs the task over and over again for the entire array. So the next step typically you would want is check whether any malicious URLs were found or not. A simple utility that exists called exists, ironically. So check if malicious URLs were found. Right, and we're gonna pick up the value here from the check script, find if there is any malicious URLs found. Set okay. And this uh, becomes a condition as you can imagine. And there would be two scenarios, a yes scenario and a no scenario. Let's say in either one of those scenarios, what we want to do is send email, something simple. Oop, if I were able to type, so we're gonna pick up send email and uh, just say send email about malicious URL. Let's say for the sake right now, simplicity sake, I'm just gonna send the mail to myself, rishi at the and uh, the body, we can say malicious, says hi there, Malicious URLs were found is the list. 
and uh, let's insert the list. This is the list of all the malicious URLs that were found. Um, let's put in a subject, mal mal malicious URL found. So that's it. So we can send this email right here. Let's actually connect it here. We will ask you whether it's a yes condition or not. Since this was a yes condition, we're gonna go here. What do we want to do for no condition? We can clone this and let's edit this task quickly and say no malicious URL found email and uh, says no malicious URLs were found. Take this out. And um, let's say subject, no malicious URLs were found. Simple enough. You connect this to the else case. Uh, and then let's go ahead and uh, close the task. So we say close investigation. There is a script to say close investigation right here. And you put that in. As simple as that. Uh, it looks a little crooked. Let's realign this. That looks beautiful. And here's a playbook. So I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna actually stop the timer right there. So roughly five minutes with all that talking as well, we are able to create a full playbook with the system. So now that we have created the playbook in almost five and a half minutes uh, with all the talking as well, I actually want to show you this running. So let's go ahead and create a new incident uh, to test our playbook. So let's say test URL incident. I think we are creating a dummy incident. So let's just create a new incident. What uh, we said the uh, all the URLs are in the details. So let's put in these URLs in the details section. We can assign a lot of different things like malware type and other th the incident type to be malware. Uh, let's choose our playbook, which was the enriched URL playbook and uh, let's create the incident and run it let's see the playbook running and here we go the playbook goes through all the different steps completes tasks closes it now let's quickly see what it actually did so here is a place where uh, we first went and extracted all the urls as you can see we were able to extract three urls uh, from the system uh, and calculated the reputation. We can actually look at some of the interesting facts if this was found in any of the other incidents or not. Uh, this particular ULS was found in three other. This was not found anywhere. The Mr. Oh, this was not found in any other. Also notice since we extracted three, this particular script, which is a single thing, no for loop, uh, iterates over those. So we were able to take it and run this particular script and get the reputation across all these so this is an array that gets passed and we are able to populate the url reputation and malicious url as one of this url the other two url which we iterate on are not deemed malicious we do get the dbot score across all of the three urls so uh, then uh, pretty much goes ahead and sends an email uh, this particular email that says uh, send the email to Rishi with the malicious URL. So it sends an email with one particular URL. And that's it. So again, uh, this was the short demonstration capturing a very specific feature, which is how does Demisto Playbooks handle loops to reiterate uh, the arrays are a native uh, supported type in our playbook. Every task that gets passed array as a parameter will be iterated on and we will handle the entire array without the user having to build a specific for loop. So until next time guys, thank you very much and we'll be back soon.